Hey friends, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Parma, Michigan. Excited to be a part of this YouTube teacher, teacher appreciation collaboration. I did all of my videos, recorded them one at a time, and I forgot to say that you should look down in the description because there's a bunch of different links to all kinds of different amazing teacher YouTubers who you should like and follow and check out their awesome content for great things teaching. My video is to come. Sorry that I forgot to do this in the video. There you go. Hey, what's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Excited to be a part of this YouTube collaboration. Uh, thank you to Kate, the sleepy teacher, for putting it on and inviting me. Uh, another YouTuber has sent me this box, which has some things in it to show their appreciation for teachers, for me. Uh, so thank you whoever sent this. About to find out as we open up this box. It's gonna be a great week. It's always a great week at school. It's even extra special because it's teacher appreciation week. I don't know about you, but like our principal takes good care of us. Last week our PTA took care of us. They got us all kinds of treats every day. This week the principal's taking care of us. Miss Haney is amazing. Today we have a catered lunch. You know, later in the week we have like snacks. Like she's delivering our favorite snack to all of the teachers. I know she's got the fridge stocked with water and juice and pop. Feels good to be appreciated. All right, let's open this box. All right, excited. I feel like this is like a Casey Neistat like video where he opens up all the cool stuff that people send him all the time. He just like rips the boxes open and leaves a huge mess. Well, he probably has an assistant who cleans up after him. So I'm gonna do it a little more calm and collected, but let's see what we have in here. Okay, so we have, oh, they're labeled. Day three, four, one, I think this one lost its little sticker. All right, let's just open this one last. So I really want to open this one first. I'm terrible at directions. Jolly Rancher. It is like a Casey Neistat video with all the candy. With candy, not all the candy is one piece of candy. All right, stay sharp, Mr. Sharp. So when I signed up for this, I'm like, oh, I'll do it. It'll be fun. But then like get a little stressed about it. And then you open it up and you see all these packages and you're just, your heart is so happy. So thank you to whoever sent this. I'll open up one a day. <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas. All right. Look at this thing. It's like a little alligator type thing. Oh, it's a pencil sharpener. It's a pencil sharpener. I'm going to put this right next to the to the Ultimate Warrior that Dan sent me last year. So let's go and, and find a little home for this little pencil sharpener. It's so cute. All right. So uh, when you become a teacher, you don't really think that people are gonna get you things and you're gonna feel appreciated, but it, it's kind of nice. So we'll put this down right next to the Ultimate Warrior who's lost his championship belt, but that's okay. All right. Here it is, you can see it. There it is. So cute. All right, so that's day one, Teacher Appreciation Week. I'm gonna go down to the lounge now to, to get some food. We have the amazing salad bar and like grilled chicken. It's gonna be off the hook. So happy Teacher Appreciation Week. I will see you all, it's actually tomorrow, but you'll be seeing it in like four seconds on this video, which is kind of awkward. Anyways, see ya, bye. Hey, happy day two, Teacher Appreciation Week. Almost forgot to film, it has been crazy, crazy today at school. Part with kids was great, but during lunch and special and, and recess time, I had to run and buy a new car. Uh, I have this car, this van that I love. We've had it for five years, and we've just taken so many trips in it, like with all of our kids, and we've driven all around the country and had so much fun, but it's time. So I was doing all the paperwork and running and, and here and there. And then I got, got I ate lunch in the car. You know, teacher things. Like one of the things as a teacher, you can never go to the bathroom. It's like bell rings 8.30, no bathroom till noon. It's rough. And you can never go to the post office because by the time you're done at school, the post office is closed. And so today I had to take some time during my lunch and then run all around. But I got a, a, not a new car, but a car that hopefully will have lots of fun family things and you probably don't care about that but day two 
one of my favorite books to teach to my sixth graders. I teach fifth grade, so this is very exciting to me. You can feel the, the width of the book. So we're about, I don't know, 158 pages is my guess. Maybe 170. We'll go 175. Feels a little high. I don't know this book. Which is so exciting because I love to read. I have, I read about, oh, so close. What did I say, 178? 183. But I read a lot. I read a lot of children's books and I love it with all of my heart to read children's books. And anytime I can find a new book, especially a book that looks like deals with, um, the awful thing that we did in this country when we put the uh, Japanese Americans in these awful camps. And I'm excited to, to read this book. So thank you, whoever my person is. I'm adding this to my to read pile. I have some students who are gonna dig this. I have one student in particular who will read this book within the next like week and a half. So excited to read this book about Japanese internment camps. Ex thank you, thank you, whoever my person is, thank you. I can't wait to open the rest of these. The, uh, the sticker off this fell off, so I don't know when I'm supposed to open some of these. And one says snack time, but it's a different day. I'm hungry, so I almost opened that one and cheated today, but I'm not going to cheat. Follow the rules. All right, I have to go and pick up my, my new used car. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you Wednesday tomorrow. Peace out. You're awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. It is a Wednesday here at, in Parma, Michigan. Excited for another day of the Teacher YouTube Teacher Appreciation Week collaboration here at Parma uh, for Wednesday of Teacher Appreciation Week. My principal had like a Google form and you filled it out of like your favorite drink and snack and then she is delivering them all throughout the day. I didn't fill it out, so I don't get a treat today, which is good because I'm trying to eat healthy and it's been going really well all year so trying to do really well day four though here tomorrow feels kind of snacky and I'm going to eat it because I deserve it anyways uh, day three excited to open this up it says a well-stocked library is definitely a classroom must-have it's so true, isn't it? Let's check. Let's take a quick look at my classroom library before we open up what feels like a book. So check it out. Classroom library is where it's at. I love my classroom library. We have lots and lots of great books here. This is where a big portion of the library is. Books, yo! Books! Oh, got a couple new books to add to the library today. Uh, your kids, if you're watching this, may know Invisible Emmy and Positively Izzy. Just Jamie just came out. We're super excited. And an Elephant and Piggy-like book, the latest one from Dan Santat. Harold and Hog Pretend for Real. So excited there. Now let's open, open up this book. I do love books. I also love nice cursive handwriting. I don't have that. All right. It's Jared Lerner's Engine Nerds. And I have not, I have not seen this, this paperback edition of Engine Nerds. But I love this book. And I have read this book. And I have some of my students have read this book. And we can always use another copy of great books like this. So... To my, see, this is not Secret Santa because it's not Christmas, but to my secret teacher, sounds weird. Thank you for Engine Nerds. And check out this one that I just got. Just got book two. So we can pair these up super nicely. Feels like they were crooked here. It's fine. Engine Nerds. Thank you, Teacher Appreciation Week friend. I appreciate these awesome gifts. Jared Lerner's like a good friend too. Like he used to live in Michigan. His dad was a professor at Michigan State University. He's a super awesome dude. If you're watching this, you should look up Jared Lerner and then you should like follow him 
and he will probably Skype with your class if they've read his book, and he will just, he was just an all-around good guy. He's a real deal. All right, I'm going to go because in nine minutes, 21 of my 28 students in my morning class are coming in for book club because book club meets every Wednesday and we talk about the book that we're reading, which is, this just keeps going and going and going, sorry. Book club this month is Gordon Corman's What's His Face. Story of a boy who's new at a school and he, they just call him What's His Face because no one ever knows his name. He's new all the time, so he's used to being What's His Face. Gets his fancy new phone because his parents feel bad about him moving all the time. And he, there's like a ghost of a person from the 1500s in his phone. It's crazy. We're 69 pages in. We're digging it. All right. I will see you soon for day four of teacher appreciation, which is pretty exciting because I feel like it's a snack. I feel like it's candy. Feels like candy. We'll see. All right. See ya. Ooh. Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Uh, excited for day four of Teacher Appreciation YouTube Exchange. I don't know who my person is, but I know from the shipping label that they are from South Pasadena in California. It's raining. It's been raining all week. And I know why people live in Pasadena, California, because it's beautiful, like all the time, like all year. Been to Pasadena once for the Rose Bowl when Michigan State made it. It was a magical, magical experience. Just feeling a little sad. I wish I could go and visit my person. So it's like pouring down rain. So indoor recess and all that fun stuff. Boo. Anyways, gonna open up a couple of presents today. I feel like we have a treat here. Gotta go with the treat first. Starving. Oh yeah, this is, so this, this treat is a weakness and I'm very excited. Bottle caps, do you remember bottle caps? There's one one gas station in my like area where I live that has bottle caps and anytime we need a late night snack, Mr. Sharp and I, I go to the gas station with the bottle caps and I buy like the, like the tube of them and they have these, but my problem with bottle caps is it doesn't matter how many there are, I will eat them all. So I will eat all of these bottle caps between now and when I get home. Not, not the worst thing in the world. So thank you, person who bought me these. I'm very excited. I'm going to eat them all today. I'm excited to get the little, little flap up here. Why not? All right, I'm gonna open one more. There's three left. Open one more and then I'll have two tomorrow. Plus it's a book. Feels like a book. Ooh. The Size of the Truth by Andrew Smith. Andrew Smith, teacher, California teacher. This is, and I do not have a finished copy of this book, but I'm a giant, giant Andrew Smith fan. His book, Grasshopper Jungle, is top four, maybe two, one of the best young adult books I've ever read. Well, he is journeying into the middle grade world with The Size of the Truth. So super stoked to see what Andrew has to say in this world to the readers that are in my classroom. Thank you, person. What's better uh, than a bottle cap, box of bottle caps, and a great book by an amazing author. So excited, thank you so much. All right, it is lunchtime. The kids are about to come down here for recess and I have to do like 17 things before they get here because I, do not stay in here during indoor recess. It is crazy, overwhelming, and stressful. So, bye, see ya. Hey friends, happy end of teacher appreciation week. It's Friday here at school. Just went for a three mile run at lunch. Hats crooked, feeling good, feeling sweaty, uh, just, Feels so good to get out of school for a little bit and get some exercise and get the blood flow and a lot of good thinking and reflection when I can do that on a Friday run. Excited to open the final gift here uh, for this wonderful teacher appreciation thing. Open this one last. This one says, which house are you? I'm Ravenclaw. One gift left. So this is a Harry Potter reference, right? Oh, it's one of those pop things. I 
love these things. My daughters have gymnastics. Are you supposed to open them or is it one of those things you leave in the box? Uh, I'm going to open it. My daughter has gymnastics in Lansing, and uh, which you probably don't know where that's at, but it's in the middle of, well, you know where it's at. Sorry. My daughter has gymnastics in Lansing, and there's a Barnes & Noble that I go to, and I just stare at all of these all the time. Um, I have the perfect spot, and we'll take it there here in a second. But thank you. I love it. It's so cute. My daughters will be very jealous. They are crazy, huge Harry Potter fans. My oldest three kids, oh, I five, the older three kids are all huge, super giant Harry Potter fans. Last one feels like a t-shirt. It is a t-shirt. Evidence and ethics. That is awesome. I feel, I feel like I now know who it is because I have, yeah, I know who, I know, I now know who it is. Open me last. Should have known. I can't really read this because my glasses are fogged up. But yes, Too Cool for Middle School, who I definitely follow, watch all her stories, see all of her adorable pictures with her wonderful son. I know she went to Cal State Fullerton. I know she does awesome things in her classroom. And thank you so much, Megan. I am very excited for little Harry Potter to come up here right next to my read sign. It is perfect. Everyone that is a teacher, thank you for all that you do for kids. Thank you so much. You are appreciated. I know it's hard. I know it's a lot of work, but it's worth it because kids are awesome and kids deserve the best from us. I'm going to go wipe off. My parents actually live right next to the school, so I might go uh, get a little cleaned up before the afternoon. Have an awesome day, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.